Good morning, students. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Have you eaten your breakfast? Please be in your comfortable seats as we learn together. Here are the objectives of our lesson. Differentiate spoken text from written texts. Familiarize spoken text types and choose unspoken text and perform it in front of his or her family members. To start with our lesson, kindly listen to a phone conversation between a parent and a teacher. Focus on the topic of the conversation on the way the message is conveyed. Hello ma'am, how may I help you? This is Mrs. Cruz. May I speak with Mrs. Reyes? This is Mrs. Reyes speaking. I wanted to know about the progress of my child. Dither is doing well in all his subjects, except English. But English is a subject he practices a lot. He needs more attention in that. Sure, we will focus on him, but I want that more attention should be given to him in his class so that he can score good grades. Don't worry, ma'am. I had a word with his English teacher, and I discussed his concern with his teacher. Thank you so much. Oh, please don't mention that. I have one more request. If you could please update me with his progress in the last month. Sure, ma'am. You can have a word with me anytime, or um, probably we can also fix a meeting. Yes, ma'am. That would be great. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Bye. Have you listened to this conversation? Let me ask you this question. Who are the two characters in the phone conversation? Yes, very good. The two characters are Mrs. Cruz and Mrs. Reyes. Are the words and messages conveyed clearly? Answers differ on how you listen to the conversation. Based on the sample conversation, what do you think is the skill that you will learn today? If your answer is types of spoken text, you got it right. Today, we'll be learning the types of spoken texts that will help you enhance your communicative competence. Now, let's learn together the types of spoken texts. Are you ready? Let's first differentiate spoken text from written text. Please listen to this audio recording. A letter to myself. The clock strikes three in the morning, and I find myself still awake, tossing and turning, thinking and thinking about the day that awaits. My mind is against me, but my heart tells me to be strong. It tells me that I will eventually find my euphoric key. I just need to hold on. There are reasons why people live on and face the mundane, and sometimes bleak hours of this thing we call life. There are reasons we enjoy the sunrise, every morning bird song, and how some people push the thought of suicide away and put down the knife. The laughter loved ones cause, the warmth of a hug and a sweet late night kiss. It is in these moments that the wounded souls find bliss. I've written words of hatred towards myself for many years, words that I'd never call anyone else, words filled with anger and fears. Dear me who has pushed through pain, attempted ending it all, and has built an indestructible wall to protect what's left of a broken person. You love so much, and yet never give the same amount to yourself. You help others when they fall, but you hurt yourself instead of asking for help. You see all of your faults and tear yourself down. You continue the cycle until you start to drown. Why can't you see what others see? Why do you beat yourself up and say what will be will be? It may all seem pointless and worthless, but you beat the odds before and have set yourself free. 
Yes, you always get caught and caged. That does not stop you from dreaming of that stage. Where your hope is telling you, you will escape again. Where your family is cheering for you, and so are your friends. The spark inside of you has become weak, and it's motivation and courage that you seek. There have been nights when you have cried, and have buried your sorrows and have said you have tried. But there is a tomorrow that you dread and worry about, because you think it'll be the same. There is no sunshine, there is just rain. Hoping for a love so dear and a future so bright, can I run away from my fears? Don't I have that right? So here it is, a letter from me to me, a letter I must not burn, a letter that I need. No matter the hell on earth or the uncertainty of the unknown, I must prevail, we must prevail. A legacy must be left behind, so I must, we must, stand up, dream big, and rise. What can you say about the audio? Is it an example of a spoken text or a written text? Great! You are correct! The audio is an example of spoken text. This time, let us differentiate spoken text from written text. Spoken text are oral stories, interviews, dialogues, monologues, for example, a welcome to a country speech or a presentation to the class. Phone conversation, discussion, role plays, or any other piece of spoken language. When people are speaking to each other, their interaction is made up of series of utterances. For example, Questions and replies, comments and suggestions, requests and responses. While written texts are stories, comic strips, instructions, recipes, PowerPoint presentations, emails, text messages on mobile phones, newsletters, posters, scripts for plays and performances, factual text and explanations, or any other piece of written language. When people are writing to for each other, their interaction may be made up of series of sentences, paragraphs, and connected ideas. Now, let's proceed to the types of spoken texts. First is the oral story. It is the text that allows each story to be shaped to its audience and the environment where it is being told. With oral delivery, tellers can bring their own personality to the story, and listeners get to experience what it means to be part of the creative process. Here is an image of a person delivering an oral story. Second is a discussion. It is the action or process of talking about something in order to reach a decision or to exchange ideas. Here is an image showing a table discussion. Third is a phone conversation. It is a conversation over the telephone. It allows you to connect directly to clients or friends through calls or voice conferences. 
shown on the screen is an image of one conversation. Four is speech. It is a formal address or discourse delivered to an audience. The goal of giving public speech is to educate, entertain, or to influence listeners. Here is an image of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte delivering a public speech. Fifth is an interview. It is essentially a structured conversation where one participant asks questions and the other provides answers. An image of an interview is shown on the screen. Sixth is a dialogue. It is a conversation between two or more people. It is a feature of a book, play, or movie. Here is an image of a dialogue. Seventh is a role play. It is the changing of one's behavior to assume a role either unconsciously to fill a social role or consciously to act out an adaptive role. Role play is shown in the image on the screen. Eight is a news reporting. It is a journalistic writing intended to inform listeners or viewers of current events. Here is an image of a news report. Those are the types of spoken texts which include our story, discussion, interview, dialogue, speech, news reporting, phone conversation, role play. I hope you are able to catch up our lesson today. Before taking a break, choose one time spoken text and do it yourself. Please stay tuned on Radio Z Square. I'll be right back after these reminders. The Radio Z Square program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated. Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation. Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. We're back. You're still listening to Radio Z Square on Z Radio. 8.5 FM. Have you applied one of the spoken texts? How do you find the activity? Did you enjoy it? Let's continue with our discussion. I want you to listen to a speaker who delivers a speech entitled Youth of My Beloved Land. Youth of my beloved land, in this critical period of our history, we need the heart, the soul, and the vigor of the youth of our land to help us build our country on the most enduring basis of brotherhood and solidarity of all Filipinos. I am, therefore, happy to know of the integration of the Filipino youth and that the Filipino youth is now on the march. The question is, where is it going? 
Is it marching with irresistible will and determination toward progress and civilization, peace and order, and the prosperity and happiness of the fatherland? If it is, I, as the chosen head of our nation and our people, heartily welcome it and bid it Godspeed. It is tried saying that the future belongs to youth, especially to those dynamic, aggressive, and self-confident young men and women who have foresight. Thus, they have the bounden duty to ensure it. So much faith, the greatest Filipino patriot and hero, Rizal, had in the youth of the land that, while he was still in his teens, he dedicated to it. His prize winning the poem entitled, To the Filipino Youth, and he called the Filipino youth, not without reason and justification, fair hope of my fatherland. How fair the youth of the land! Are they planting the seeds that will make their country great? Do they realize the serious problems that now confront the Republic of the Philippines, which is their republic? And are they contributing to the fullest extent to the solution of such problems? Are they putting their strong and broad shoulders on the wheel of progress and prosperity? Are they helping actively in the complete restoration of peace and order in their country and in the gigantic reconstruction work which both the people and the government must undertake? Are they doing their duty as citizens of the Republic, working for the common happiness and welfare of their respective communities? As ye sow, so shall ye reap. Are the Filipino young men and women of today sowing the seeds of peace and prosperity so that they will reap the fruit of progress and tranquility? Man is the archetype of society. Both society and the nation grow as the individuals grow. Unless our youth prepare for the future, there will be no future for them. I am taking the liberty. Therefore, on this occasion, to invite and call upon all the youth of the land to join hands with the forces of the government to simulate food production, to restore complete peace and order throughout the land and breadth of the Philippines, and to work actively and persistently for the welfare, progress, and prosperity of the Republic. The Republic is not of this generation to keep, but it is particularly for the young generation and future generations to preserve and to enjoy. I thank you for this opportunity of addressing the youth of the land on this memorable occasion. I shall be happy to say a few words to you later in connection with the integration movement of the Filipino youth, not only in the public and private schools, but of all Filipino young men and women all over the islands so that the youth of the land may be not only a strong factor in supporting this government and in making this republic an enduring nation but also so that with the help and cooperation and loyalty of the Filipino youth we may be in a position to transmit as a heritage to future generations a country a people compact and united in the bonds of a common affection. Have you listened to the audio recording? Let me ask you these questions. Is she confident in delivering the speech? Is the message clear to you as listener? Is your momentum, energy of listening still being maintained while you are on your seats? Were you able to follow and connect the speaker's speech? Did you listen until the end of the speech? How do you feel this time after listening to 
the speech. Based on the audio presentation, let us try to evaluate if the speaker attained the expected qualities of a good public speaker. Now, what are the qualities of a good public speaker? Here are the tips to good public speaking. First, nervousness is normal. All people feel some physiological reactions like pounding hearts and trembling hands. Do not associate these feelings with the sense that you will perform poorly. Some nerves are good. The adrenaline rush that makes you sweat also makes you more alert and ready to give your best performance. Second, know your audience. Your speech is about them, not you. Before you begin to craft your message, consider who the message is intended for. Learn as much as about your listener as you can. This will help you determine your choice of words, level of information, organization pattern, and motivational statement. Third, organize your material in the most effective manner to attain your purpose. Create a framework for your speech. Write down the topic, general purpose, a specific purpose, central idea, and main points. Make sure to grab audience attention in the first 30 seconds. Fourth, watch for feedback and adapt to it. Keep the focus on the audience. Gauge their reactions. Adjust your message and stay flexible. Delivering a speech will guarantee that you lose the attention of or confuse even the most devoted listeners. P. Let your personality come through. You will establish better credibility if your personality shines through and your audience will trust what you have to say if they can see you as a real person be yourself don't become a talking head in any type of communication please watch this video let's try to identify whether miss universe 2018 katriona gray has applied the tips to good public speaking Philippines, please join me. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bad. Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is very, it's poor and it's very sad. And I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster, and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. Did she apply the tips 
in her performance? Good job! Now, let's continue discussing the other tips to good public speaking. 6. Use humor. Tell stories and use effective language. Inject a funny anecdote in your presentation and you will certainly grab your audience attention. Audience generally like a person that's in a speech. A story can you buy that. Seven, don't read unless you have to. Word from an outline, reading from a script or slide, captures the interpersonal connection. By maintaining eye contact with your audience, you keep the focus on yourself and your message. A brief outline can serve to jog your memory and keep you on task. Eight, use your voice. Enhance effectively. Omit nervous gestures. Good delivery does not call attention to itself, but instead conveys the speaker's ideas clearly and without distraction. Nonverbal communication carries most of the message. Nine. Grab attention at the beginning and close with a dynamic end. Do you enjoy hearing a speech? Start with, today I'm going to talk about X. Most people don't instead use a startling statistic, an interesting anecdote, or Concise quotation. Conclude your speech with a summary and a strong statement that your audience is sure to remember. 10. Use audiovisual aids wisely. Too many can break the direct connection to the audience. So use them sparingly. They should enhance or clarify your content or capture and maintain your audience attention. Among the 10 tips, which do you think is the most significant to you when doing public speaking? Remember all the tips for a successful and effective public speaking. While taking a break, Use the text entitled, Youth of My Beloved Land, and apply the 10 tips to good public speaking. I'll be right back after a few reminders. The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply. Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company. Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. You're still listening to Radio Z Escuela, Zero Radio 88.5 FM. Have you applied the tech tips? If you did, well and good. 
Let us have a question and answer exercise. What types of spoken texts can you identify? Please explain each on your activity notebook. To further develop your skill, please create and perform a spoken text in front of your family members. Refer to the rubric that your audience at home will use to rate you. Please do not forget to apply the 10 tips to good public speaking. Here is the rubric for your public speaking performance. The scores are described as poor for one point, fair for two points, good for three points, and excellent for four points. These are the criteria to consider. Eye contact. The speaker has eye contact with the audience. Audience. The speaker grabs the attention of the audience. Movement. Movement is effective. Displays confidence and causes no distraction. Volume or pacing. The speaker can be heard clearly and focuses in appropriate parts of the text. Tone. The speaker has effective tone throughout the whole presentation. Note the following questions after your performance. How do you feel during the performance? What rooms for improvement would you suggest for yourself? To wrap up our lesson today, spoken text is composed of series of utterance used to interact with others for a specific purpose. I am teacher Maria F.C. Tanutan, your English Tech teacher. Thank you so much for listening. Stay safe. God bless everyone. Stay tuned in our Radio Z Escuela here on Z Radio 88.5 FM. Sigurado Liga, Sigurado Puya. Radio Z Escuela Executive Committee. The school's division superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5. Assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco. School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Riponte. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. Dr. Eldecris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U. Donna D. T. Bolifer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banians Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anhara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Lee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Araiz.